This is the Raspberry Pi Arduino button game. Uh, you see there's five buttons here, each button. If you can follow the wires back, is connected to an Arduino Nano, which also has attached to it an NRF24 chip, give it a capacitor on to help the power, so it stabilizes it. Um, there are two of these connected to the Raspberry Pi, but that's purely for power, they're not actually sending any signal. And on the other side, the other three are connected through a little hub. Uh, again, just for power from the PC. They're not actually running uh, any code through the PC. All the action for the buttons and the NRFs attached to the Arduinos are handled on the Arduino themselves. And then the Raspberry Pi has an NRF as well. And this is a little game whereby, if you've seen a pie party, the whack a pie, where there were a whole lot of buttons that you had to hit. Well, this is a very similar situation, except because every Arduino is independent, they can be spaced out. And the plan is to put them into Pringles tubes because they fit perfectly. These are 60 uh, millimeter buttons attached to the tops of Pringle tubes and then each one of these will be powered from a battery because again the only thing that the uh, Arduinos are taking from the Raspberry Pi or the PC is power so it means each one of these is independent so you can space them out as much as you wish or put them as close as you wish I'll see for this demo they're all sitting right next to each other so they'll fit on the table so let's get running so what it is is on the Raspberry Pi there's some piping code. Up pops a little window. There's two modes. One is test and one is play. So if I zoom back here, I press test, T for test. All five buttons flash. So I can tell they're all receiving a signal. If I press enter, then I play the game. Again, imagine this if all of these buttons are very far away from each other, not sitting all here on front of me on the table. And you have to run between them, which is the plan for the party. I should be going to tomorrow if the weather holds out. So all of these will be sitting in tins, staked to the ground. Oop, is that it? Done? And there's the score. So that's a, a very quick video. It's uh, the nights of the room is kind of dark and uh, not too great, but as I said, uh, a little game. Oh, and by the way, the it can be extended very easily. So you can add more buttons. I'm doing it with five. You could easily add six, 10, 20 buttons to it if you wish. Uh, the code is fairly much the same on each Arduino. It literally is just got a, a slightly different identifier for each one of the Arduinos and you just got to put those into a list on the Python and say how many you're using. So uh, I've just got to set up for five but this can be extended to, as I said, any, any amount that you wanted without any problems.